Welcome to Factorio Mega Page in the Book. My name is Nilaus, and we have some nice designs for for uh, getting into this uh, today. I have been doing a bit of work offline, uh, and what I've been sort of thinking is like, how do I transition from having my copper built uh, being like this into that? Because it kind of has to shift all of it at once, which is not really going to happen. And let's say it gets even worse for iron as well. So, oh, that's interesting. Why do I have that? Um, I just mark that as deleted and then I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do that. So <laughs> what I've done is I've now prepared some iron deposits. This one used to be a location, but uh, not anymore. Now it is replaced. And I've also marked this one up here. So what I think I want to do for iron part is that I'll take my iron deposits up here and then I'll take anything down here will be converted into steel. So for example, this one will be converted into steel and anything up here, this one will be converted into iron. How does that work? Well, I think it'll work in the way that steel parts can still work on these patches down here, but I won't be able to convert this into a big patch because it's like six city blocks at least. And I just can't really fit that in. Maybe it could fit in here, but it would sort of destroy the, the overlay here so that I don't want to do so that means I have taken stuff like uh, this one and I have now disconnected it so that I can hopefully run this out of business and then we can convert it into steel I would also like to do the same thing for this one so that this gets converted as well uh, converted into iron or yes to an iron patch instead but I think I want to get a few steel patches now uh, as the game progresses I want to thank everyone uh, who are supporting, everyone who's viewing, of course, all of that stuff, but particularly the people who are supporting, and of course, the particularly, particularly, uh, what? Why can we not build stuff here? Oh, there's water. That's so funny. Um, ha. And yeah, so everyone, particularly the patrons who are supporting so much that they get their own episode. That is really nice. I really appreciate the, all the support for this series and just for me in general on this uh, channel. So thank you for that. And let's dive into what we want to do. And uh, what I want to do is I want to make sure that we have our solar panel is all good here. So this just needs to continue. Then I... Hmm. I'm going to take a, a location here. That one. And it goes to this location. So that will both be used here to fill in the rails, but also be used in the other one to fill in more solar panels. There. And then it'll be used on this one. Uh, it's a bit more tricky, isn't it? That looks good. That looks good. Uh, that does not look good. There. Oh yeah, I can just align it. And, uh, oh yeah, one thing, while I was messing for the last couple of episodes with all of this, I had made a fatal blunder. You know me and my fatal blunders. So let's have a look at this part here. This is going from the loading location, one of the two loading locations, and then going into the location where we are building it for the satellites. And then this one turns on and off, and then it goes into this one. However, I did not think of it and I'm sure there's a comment about it uh, so many comments and I kind of missed some of them once in a while and this one I missed this one was set to have a train limit instead of enable disable so the difference is between enable disable and the train limits enable disable will make it skip the station if it's closed it skips the station but enable this uh, but train limit will say hey this is the station I need to go to and I'll just wait until it opens so this one because I wasn't expanding the solar panels it never opened because it never opened the train was stuck at a uh, waiting to go to back up to this location waiting for this one to open and therefore it never read back to re uh, to restock and because it never went back to restock it never got into the satellite production and that means our satellite production is woefully behind uh, or at least it was woefully behind but uh, as I was doing some more things I wanted to sort of have it catch up again but you can see now it is caught up uh, but the rocket launching is not caught up yet and as a result our science is well mediocre at best uh, let's see if it's coming back online yeah, so it was down all the way down to zero, then it got one enabled, then it got the second one enabled, so we're only at 
half of where we should be. And you can also see at here, there's only two of them bluffing about. And this one is just waiting for it to go back and pick up some more at this location. It seems to be always be this. Uh, this was slowed down because of when we were working, when we were converting the copper, then it was slowed down because the low density structures wasn't doing, working. And now it's slowed down because I made the little oopsie with the regards to satellites. So it's going to take a bit of time to catch up. This will launch faster than it needs. So it can go here and here we go. We get more in here. It's actually really. I wonder how much it actually needs. Oh, well, it looks good. So what I want to do is I want to, uh, we did get that one out. I want to convert some, <laughs> look at this mess. Yeah, so it, what happens is that it picks up from the buffer chest to get down there. And because it picks up from the buffer chest and it sends new deliveries out to the buffer chest up here. Yeah, so buffer chests are only good when you, uh, when you build in the area that is nearby. Pfft, what do you know? Buffer chests are not the panacea to everything. And I do need this part. So of course, all of it, some of it also comes from here, but a big part of it will come from these locations, which isn't really what I want to say, but uh, no matter, no matter. What I want to do is I want to go up to that one and build our beautiful design. I think I have to destroy something first. I have to destroy this part first and actually also that part. Mm, I don't know about this one. You know, I can also, I don't want to take the other ones out because then if I do it like this, yeah. And then I take my beautiful new blueprint. It even snaps nicely. Yeah. And it, it just snaps. Damn, it just snaps. Ah, oh, that's so snappy. Uh, we're going to send our back up here and I'm going to send up myself up there. We've also been upping the production of beacons in a hacky way here. Just putting some modules in there. We can now produce 25 beacons every minute. So that should be enough, I would hope. There, let's get on to that location. What are we unloading? Ah, yeah, there's more solar panels. Uh, obviously, yes. The interesting thing, though, is whether we are... Um, well, this is actually, yeah, this is fine. This is closed. As long as it's closed, it's fine. And hopefully it'll go, it, this train won't be so busy that it can't do both at the same time. Oh, not this train, but the train going here. Where is it? That one. That's the train. If this train is too busy, then it's going to be a problem. But on, anyway, it comes in here. And then if the satellite production is open, then it goes to satellite production first. If not, then it goes to the home home office, we could say. And we are done at this location. Um, I think it's super important to make sure that I don't have things just accidentally coming in here. And I'm also going to make sure that I get all of that in here. And let's get that building. Where is our, where are our robots? Oh, they're slow. Our spider sounds, but hey, early robot gets the construction and that's what we're going to do here. So this build, and actually I should be focusing less on this build and more on, now we can actually take all of this out, I think as well. Let me just go and take that out. Why was that dirt? We do not want this to be mixed up and I'm going to lose a lot of robots, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. This actually is helping for the build. So they are now going refugees coming over here. Yeah, I'm sorry, but they are. Look at it. Oh, it's still got the next one up here. What if I just do that and then do this? Then that should be my robots taking care of it. Yes. There and there. Good. I got only just one of those. So that's not a problem. All right. Now we need to build this location and hopefully it also works. I am going to kill some, this part at least. I'm not really sure I'm going to kill all of it and I will get the train. Let's hope this is the right one. And we're going to have to find a way to get enough in here. Oh, right. There's also a really, really good comment. Really good comment. So this thing 
I, I was always, I'm always skeptical when someone goes like, oh, it's actually dangerous. And I'm like, ah, come on, drama. But uh, this part, this one where I link it up here. Now let's take one of those that are actually working. All right. So what I did here was no path. Ah, bugger. You shouldn't do it like that. Oh, why does it work like that? Oh, I don't want to have them have new locations. Okay, so the reason why this one has new path is because it can actually go over to one of these locations. And it really wants to go over to one of those. Oh, damn it. I did not foresee that. Damn. So those locations, they actually need to have a one, two, three. Hmm. Oops. Oh wow, I'm getting distracted now, am I not? Yeah. Uh let's build them in the in the sequence that they were actually made. There. This one was the first one, so that you have the luxury of called one. And I just lost all my trains for these locations. Yay. Um that one also has to be number one. But the other ones do not need to name one. Learn. They are now one, but they don't have a single train because all the trains just get shunted over to the other ones. So what I need to do is I need to make, change this train to be from number one, then to number two, no. Pick up first, pick up, pull, delivery, empty. There, there. This is the train. Four, five, six, six, seven. Uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and that's how many trains we have here. All right, and then over on this side, I'll have to name these number two. They are still broken. They're really weird that they're broken here. Two. Why are they broken? Is there really one of them that they can't get to? These are all called one. Huh. Oh, some idiot just built that up there. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. You're going to be number two. And this will also be called number two. Yeah, so they try to go to a location that they can't go to. There. And then we do the trains. Go from pickup to delivery, full and empty. Copy, paste, paste, paste. That is the first seven. And then the good thing is they're not going to go anywhere until I actually check these off. It works, I think. Let's see, this one. There are four of these stations, there are seven of these trains. This is now working again, except that nothing is really requesting at this fast enough. So that is the next part. All right, uh, I got distracted. I got distracted by this part. Okay, so the problem is that if I disable the station, if this runs out, that means there will suddenly be too many trains these trains will no longer go to that station and they'll jam into the other ones and they'll actually jam while if it just runs out and gets stuck that means there's just two trains that are getting stuck and it'll continue to flow so it's actually better to not have this part here which is good i mean anytime we can disable disable some logic it is good news because logic is well bad for business um, and then I should be removing it from here as well. The direct mining. Uh, if I take one that like that, okay, I, I'm just going to accept that these are the way they are. Two, three, and four. It's kind of close here, but it's still going to work for quite, quite, quite okay. Uh, let's get you over here as well. And we still have the issue of the middle one. Now everything is working and I'm going to have the robot ports without conflict. 
there. Oh yeah, by the way, that's another good comment. Like, why do I refuel it here if I am refueling it at the other station as well? I don't need to refuel it both at loading and unloading station. It's pretty obvious, isn't it? But uh, I was just getting all in on on this. Yeah. That's a lot of good points. That's a lot of good points that I get from the comment section. And as you can see, I am definitely uh, paying attention to it. And I love the fact that we can just do stuff like this. So it's not a full module, but it is so close to a full module that we can get because there is just, just these changes, differences here. I got a few things that we can still build. I oh, yeah, just a few things. And that one as well. And that should be good as well. Okay. I'm I'm pretty happy about this. Now I need to change the stations. This one will be will be an iron one. That and it's also going to be called number 1. Copy, paste, pa paste, paste. All good. And these up here, they are all working. So, oops. Now oh, this, yeah, this is good. This will be replaced with an iron ore. And this will be replaced with an iron plate. And then it will have a suffix of one. Copy, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, and then the outbound side, this will also have a change, but it will not have a suffix. Because this should be generic among all of the, hopefully, new iron stations. And I am missing everything. All right, where are my robot, are my drones? Uh, robo, robo things here, yes. All right, I need more tracks. I need more inserters i need more not more belts though more modules more beacons yep definitely so let's see if we can get that we can get some of that we can get some of that we can get a bit of this but that's about it and oh mod uh these here those are definitely things we need and we probably need a few more here ah stations Train stations. Important. Only 10 stations. That's not actually that much. Hey, dude. Go up. Go up. Go up. Here we're just desperately trying to get everything sorted. Oh, no. This miserable... Miserable rope ports here are not... Or miserable... Spider-Trons are not getting anything. Mm. Here. This is done and that's done as well. The reason why this is not here is because usually that would be part of the next blueprint. Okay, so I don't need... I, I do need a RoboPort area up here, which is already there and it's not connected to the rest, but I don't need it down here because that will be fueled from this location good i can at this point uh i can definitely go here and see make sure these are connected or they are pasted and looks like we are done with our build here so we are going to build more we are focusing right now on the closer part because uh why not Oh, these ones have lights on. So let's get this part. Nah, let's 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 go a bit. Let's go a bit more on this. It's pretty quick once it gets going. So let's there. Let's get that one done, and then we could get the other part afterwards. You know what? Maybe I do even more because it's one of those things where when you just schedule it, 
the, the biggest part is the idle time between different schedules where I'm just waiting for myself to get around to just scheduling more. This one, just, just get it done, all right? Uh, this is filling up my Spidertrons so that they are ready. I can also let my... Yeah, what are we missing? We're missing beacons, Psh, typical. And we need a lot of trains as well. So that's, um, that's also gonna be a challenge, getting those trains up and running. Luckily, we have some trains here. I can get this one in. Um, you are going to give me all of your trains. Thank you. And some of that fuel. And then I can send you back. Good. We can summon you again if we need to. And that also means I get the fuel inbound. And now we can see that our part here is tanking. Uh, this part is now going to have... Oh, that's interesting how that changed... That's actually perfect. Nice. Um, yeah, let's get some more of these trains. Trains. I want to build them out here. One. Two. I have to do that first. Otherwise, I don't have enough in my own inventory. And then I do that. Then I can build the next. And I'll do the last one, which isn't going to work. And yeah. They don't have fuel. But they might. They might get some fuel up here at some point if I can get the, this one refueled. It did actually get refueled. So let me just steal whatever I can from this location. Okay, that's not what I wanted. There you are. What? Where did they go? Hmm. And that's also going up there, picking up stuff just to bring it back. This is hopeless, but uh, it is what it is. And you are probably good to go. So let me um, bring you up to my location. Where do I want to build you? Or where do I want to park you? I want to park you right there. That's a harmless place to park you. I suppose these will get in here eventually. Manual. I'm just going to steal everything I can from this train. I know it's weird, but I will. There. Go back, little one. So, if I am now standing here, and I Put that in here. Shouldn't that be? No, it shouldn't be doing anything. Take that out and get one in. Take that out and get one in. Oh, really? So, yeah. I'll take these blue ones, blue indicators out, and then I'll do one. One, two, and three. So they're at least powered. And one, two, three, four. That's just not enough. And this one is just haunting me as well. I'm going to get more trains. Go back. Nope. Uh, modules. Modules is the only thing I'm missing here. Get those three. All right. Go. Go. Go, go, go. That's five. That's something at least. Please don't run me over. Not enough modules, not enough beacons. Damn those beacons. All right, you're going to go up here and get the rest of this sorted. All right, I need more trains. More trains. And with those attacks, are they getting worse or are they just noticeable? All right, I need more trains. And this train here is... Okay, you can go back again. Because you're not really doing what I want you to do. One. And then I have to do that. 
two. I have to do that. And then how many do I have? I only have six. That's horrible. Okay. And this is automatic. And automatic. How many do we have now? We have... Well, that's easy to see by going to that one. We have nine. We need way more. All right. Another thing we want to do is down here. And um, we don't have anything that is currently using the new iron build. So what I think I want to do is take the green circuit builds, the default green circuit builds, and transition those to being using the new one. That makes sense, right? So this one should now be, let's look at, that will just have a little indicator in front, and then that will be noticing that it is now a different station, that one. Now at least we have one. And then I will go to... Uh, why am I not just requesting like 40 of these? And 40 is, oops, sorry, there. 40, 40, that's five trains, and that means I need 10 here. Good. So I just go over and park there. While I go back to this location and realize that we've not set this up, this one will go to, it's definitely gonna be this one. What is it called? It's called that one. No, it's not. There, this one. Until full and then goes to that one until empty. We're going to need a few of those. And then we are going to need a full stock up of trains here getting this one out and we got the trains new trains coming in unfortunately there's also a lot of other activity that i've given to my drones so that's not particularly useful and this is not working this is not working but i think we're gradually getting some look at that that line is coming to me to feed me with Trains on the way for yes, and on the way here. Yeah, yeah, they're coming in, they're coming in. Great. So it's working. And that one is also done. Sweet. So now we have, what, eight trains? Why eight? Didn't we have nine before? Uh, we have, oh, right, right, right. I know why. <laughs> uh, it's because the other one actually counted as two trains because there were ghostly connection between them. But I need 17 trains here, and then I need the other trains uh, here, that one is not doing a damn thing but i need more of those and then we can go back and see if this is being built not at all not at all but i have my trains here so i can uh, wait a second <clears throat> thank you and uh, let's not kill anything there sweet is it does that have any power no it doesn't there and there. And I'm going to get some more fuel. Hello, fuel train. You're just going to wait for a second. And I'm going to raid you with for all your worth. And go back. Oh, see, they're already being brought in. Nice. Uh, except not this. And up here. That goes away. That goes away. And in. And in. And in. And where we? how many do we have now? More. We have 11. We need 17. Oh, this one. And you're also going in. 11. That's 12. Nothing is coming in, so we can do that. Oops. Yeah, and it's all good. So, that is now 12, right? 
13. So I still need a few more. And back at home, how are we doing on trains? Not well at all, I would say. Not well at all. This is uh, just continuously unloading. This is not getting anything. Hmm. And everything up here is good. So we have at least some trains inbound. But we do need more. I'm going to send you back here for refueling. Oh, this test takes a bit of time, doesn't it? <clears throat> to set up and convert. And I think also it's time for me to convert this. Uh, did I copy it? And then I only have two trains, so... I gotta be careful. There. Do I dare convert all of them? No, not really. I need to see how much they are actually con consuming. How much is this consuming? This is per second consuming 260. And all of this one up here was cons was making 700 and something. So I can actually have three of those for one of these. That's actually okay. Oh, I need to, to go here so I could replenish my train setup thing. Wow, we are also out of beacons again. Oh, I guess that's because my uh, spider trans went in here. So now they are getting all the beacons. And this part is just an absolute mess. When I'm building away from the... from. When I'm building away from the beat, the buffer chest, the buffer chests are working very, 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 very counterintuitive or counterproductive, not counterintuitive. They work intuitively enough, but this is one of the reasons, one of the millions of reasons why copper chests are absolute shit because they are so specific situation that you can use them in. And if you don't use them in that specific situation, it's just junk. It actually got everything worse. So yeah. Thank you for uh, forcing me to use use those. I uh, I hate you all. There we go. Oh oh, I'm I'm already ready for all the comments. Well, it's because you're not using them correctly. And I am also going to make sure that I get a few beacons or a few of these here. Hmm. It seems like I probably should have a one in here. Ouch! I can't I can't move out of that area. Did I move out? I don't think I moved out. Let's see, trains are inbound, 10 inbound, 40 inbound. Okay, so they are inbound and that means you can replenish that. This is coming back. These trains are not building. All right, let's wait a bit and then we get the whole damn thing up and running for this part. All right, so I think we have everything ready now. You can see this is quieting down. There's no indicators of things that are missing. Well, there's one and that's because the radar, but we can uh, get some more trains in here. That train is now going into here, 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 and here. That'll get six more trains. And that we already have two, so that will be a total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, okay, so we need three more. And on this side here as well, we also have all of our inbound trains as well. So this one, I have 13 and I need four more. So let's see if we can get four more of these. Uh, one thing I do need is absolutely need more fuel here so let's get the fuel there well, that's not much that is not much I can still make this and I'll build it here got it that is now number 14 and the next That'll be number, hmm, yeah. We're, we're, we're now run, officially running out of that. Uh, can I get a train station or a train in here, please? Where is it? There we go. That's built, good. So now we don't have anything that's not working. Nothing not working. Oh, and back at our home base, what we want to do is we want to make, replenish this again. Should be coming in quicker this time because we have idle, idle drones. All of these are just coming back to help unload the iron, uh, the steel train, which is perfect. Look at that. That's building way more, way quicker. Oh, and you, my friend, is going to be. Oh no! Stop! 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 stop. I need to uh, raid you. Thank you. And then you can go back. And that should get us this one at least. So, there we go. 15. Uh, 
And that gets out. And that's 16. And one more. And that is 17. Does that work? We have 17. Yes. So we want 17. 10 plus 7. 10 plus 8 minus 1. That's probably a better way of saying it. That is excellent. And all we need now is for this part. This is at has six stations and I need to make get it to three more. So all I need, copy, paste, paste, paste. There. It's all good. Now that one is completely enabled. All I need to do is just repeat, rinse and repeat here. And then once we have two of those, then we can make 1500 per second. That should be one, two, three, four, five, six. All of that can then be converted. That's pretty good. That will do, uh, I'll do that sort of between sessions so we can get this one up and running and we can proceed with sort of the next challenge here. Also solar panels, let's have a look at the solar in this uh, in this setup. If we uh, power it looking much better now, much better. We are closing in on the 1 million solar panels, which is really where we want to be at this point. And also when it looks like power or science, let's check out if the science is back online. It came all the way back and went back to the 5k that we so like and if i do that we've been at 5k for the last 10 minutes so we have now sort of restored the base this one we'll just walk through it the fact that it says red or blue circuits is missing is not i think not true it actually is true damn it <laughs> 21 here and 16 and 30 okay and 15 so Let's see, this one is pretty close to 31 or 32. So when it gets to 32, then it suddenly says, hey, I have one in, in one available. But when a train comes in and it starts loading, then it becomes unavailable. But we still have a train with 32,000 that's now ready to go out. So it's, it not only needs to fill up 32,000, but it needs to fill up 32,000, put it into a train and then fill up another 32,000 in order for it to look, look like we have enough. So that's going to be taking quite an effort. I know that factually this is enough. I just can't really get it to uh, to to be to be enough. And this is good, but it's not really ready for one more train in here. But that's okay. Yeah, I just uh, I'm just I'd like to have the blue not be a warning. If we look at the blue stations, that one, yeah, it's waiting. And where's the other places where I need blue circuits? That one. Okay, that's not waiting there. Oh, man, it's just... Uh, let's take this. Also just sitting there waiting. At least it hasn't run out yet. And the last one. Oh, it's heading back. Good. Let's go to this location. This is, ah, the module. Yeah, the module is actually consuming a lot right now because uh, surprise, surprise, we built a pretty big module base here and here and here lately. So <laughs> that's maybe that's uh, that's where all my excess blue circuits are disappearing to the module build. That makes sense. Anyway, I hope this was a nice episode for you. Uh, I hope you uh, in, well, found it interesting. I certainly did. I really like this new conversion thing. And of course, as we come up with a new concept, it takes a while to sort of integrate it fully. What we're going to do is also also start moving our steel into this location so that iron is going to be all the way up here so it's going to be iron and copper and uh, we'll leave the other copper and i don't think i want to make more copper outpost out here i don't think i need it uh, when we need it we need we need it but uh, until then i don't need to do that and of course that will also take out some some uh, solar panels so we're going to need to continue to move up here and of course i forget this part but uh, whatever <laughs> this is not working very well it's not really doing what I, I I kind of hoped it was. And this is why the Spidertrons are not uh, amazing, because you have to babysit them all the time. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next episode. Until then, take care and stay effective. See you next time.